What's going on, Tar Heel Nation? It's your favorite North Carolinian, Russ the Tar Heel. And yes, it was just an exhibition. It was just Division II St. Augustine's. They were 8-18 eight and 18 last year. They're in the CIAA. I know, I get it. But it was raining three balls, baby. Exciting game, and it's great to see that team that was an ACC worst, 31.2% last year from beyond the arc, make 16 threes, man. And they were coming from everywhere. None more than my man R.J. Davis, who finished 5 for 10 from behind the arc himself. He had 21st half points, finished the game with 22, and uh, the heels were rolling early. 65-26 at the half. They ended up winning the basketball game 113-53. Oh, man, what a stinking ball game. 113, 117 to 53. My bad, guys. I caught the tail end of the game on the way to the house, man. So great to see the number 19 Tar Heels route the St. Augustine Falcons. Just great to see, man. And they were getting it from everywhere. One of the things I talk about in the first half that was really impressive is that, you know, obviously a Division II team, they're going to be a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit less athletic. So one of the things that you anticipate North Carolina doing is getting the ball down low to Baycott on the blocks. But North Carolina was so good from the onset, the outset, that they didn't really have to get it down to Baycott because they were banging threes from everywhere. Like I said, RJ had like 17 points in the first seven or eight minutes. And at one point, he had banged three back to back to back threes. I mean, he was catching them, you know, catching shoots. He was getting bad passes, picking them up off the hardwood and still setting up and knocking them down. It was a real good thing to see RJ ball out like that, man. He got snubbed on the ACC, the all ACC team. I mean, I can't believe a senior R.J. Davis got left off of that team. He kind of went out there and like almost seemed to want to prove that he's one of the best guards in the conference, which I obviously think that he is. So R.J. Did, led the way with 22 points on 5 for 10 shooting from 3. Um, and uh, just really good game from R.J. Davis. Armando Baycott ended up with a double-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds. A um, lot of guys... Uh, looked really good. Harrison Ingram had 16 points, nine boards, and three assists. Um, he had a monster dunk earlier in the first half. Cormac Ryan had 10 points in 14 minutes. He actually left the first half with an uh, looked like an apparent ankle injury. He looked like he was kind of walking off into the uh, the tunnel uh, fairly good. So hopefully we'll get a uh, good report on him. But one of the really interesting things. And probably something that we all thought that we were going to see, but it was good to see nonetheless, was Elliot Cadeau. The kid was a facilitator tonight, man, and I just really enjoyed watching him with the rock at the top of the key. He finishes with seven points, three assists off the bench, and um, he had a stinking monster one-handed jam where he got to the hip of the guard that was guarding him. He got past him, and you just saw everybody move out of the way. And he elevated and just, ah, uh, just, I mean, dominant-type move from a freshman point guard. Um, pretty cool to see him dropping dimes, looking like Ed Cota for large stretches of the game. And then to see him elevate that way and finish at the rim, man, that's... That is stinking big time, if I may say so myself. Zayden High hauled in 11 boards, and uh, he had a couple of really good blocks, man. North Carolina finished with 23 assists on 43 field goals. That's another really good thing that I was able to kind of pick up in this exhibition game. Like I said, you take it with a grain of salt because it's a Division II team that was not very good last year, but you can still get some things out of this. Carolina moved the ball fairly well, man. They were sharing the basketball, and it led to some easy baskets, and it led to some guys wide open on the perimeter for some easy looks from three. So, man, 
that's the way that you start the season, 117 to 53. Um, I mean, there's not much more to say than that, bro. They actually handled business just like that they should against an inferior opponent. But, you know, one of the things that I took from this was they shot, I think, 47% from beyond the arc. Um, is that sustainable? I don't know. But I do know that they have multiple people on that lineup that can knock it down from the perimeter, including Jalen Washington. So, um, you know, really good to see them shoot the ball so well, even though it's just an exhibition game against the Division II St. Augustine's Falcons. Hey, let me know what you think about that basketball game, Tar Hill Nation. Comment down in the comment section. Are you excited? What was one of the things that kind of stood out to you that was like, oh, man, here we go. You know, we can make a run. We can do some big things, obviously, given, you know, the circumstances and the opponent that they're playing, but you can still take some real good things from this basketball game, you know, looking at what we have on this roster, and, uh, you know, we'll find out November 6th against Radford when they tip it off in the regular season opener. So, hey, enjoyed it, man. Love seeing them handle business that way. 117.53, North Carolina over St. Augustine's in the exhibition. Let me know, like I said, what you think in the comment section. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe to the content. We love you, Tar Heel Nation, and we will catch you on the next one, baby.